Hey guys, me Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, let's go to the uh, the Wasatch here. Snow has just started up, and we're in for some significant snow accumulation tonight, tomorrow, and on 221. So this storm is going to push quite a bit of moisture through the Wasatch, over a foot of snow in my forecast during this period for Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. Uh, let me show you radar. And you can really see it. So radar across the west, look at that big slug of moisture headed uh, uh, towards the Tetons, the Wasatch rolling through Idaho. Um, all of that's ahead of our main storm system, which is still setting back in California, the main trough of low pressure. And so the snow will continue in the Sierra tonight and also tomorrow. All right, let me show you what I'm thinking here as far as uh, my bullet points this afternoon. So your heavy snow in California now through tomorrow. Wasatch heavy snow now through 221, over a foot. Tetons light to moderate snow now through 220. Colorado, you've got light snow tomorrow. And also more of a moderate snow accumulation um, on 221 in the afternoon through 222. And then we're going to see the pattern shift with the northern branch. Start to buckle south, bring some more energy in and a nice, a nice flow pattern. 225 through about 229. Still looking at some pretty big totals. There's been a slight shift in some of the data. I'll show you that coming up. But in the northeast, some light snow on 223, maybe even mixing with rain at lower elevations. And then also some snow on 227 and 228. All right, let me take you back and show you water vapor satellite imagery here this afternoon. So here it is, our big trough, our big area of low pressure, big dip in the atmosphere is right there, slowly moving into California, sending this Vanguard precip out into Utah, Idaho, and the Tetons, and eventually that will roll into Colorado as well. But the whole storm system is being supported and moved along by the subtropical jet. It's just going to take its time. Eventually, this whole storm will get kicked in and break loose and move through Utah and Colorado, 220, 221, and 222. Now, behind it, there is another low pressure, another storm system right here. This will send a piece down through California. Most of it's going to go up and around through Alaska and Canada and become part of that pattern shift for 225 and beyond with the northern branch. Here's the latest forecast radar, or latest uh, jet stream. This is for tonight, 11.30 p.m. Now, by tomorrow, it looks like this. Here comes the storm system sliding into California. Here's 221 in today. The storm makes its move through Utah, Colorado, and the Four Corners. By 222, still some snow being supported in Colorado, and then by 23, it's out of here. Now we're waiting. Here comes the next storm system on the southern branch into California, and look at the northern branch. So this is 225 in today. The two will start to merge. Both will drop and dump the energy into the interior, and we're looking at a nice flow pattern here out of the west-northwest. Some pretty big snow accumulation here on 226 with all of that sort of merging over the Intermountain West. Here's 227 in today, and here comes the next storm system coming in on that northern branch, loading, reloading. It's going to take a little bit of time for that trough to swing in. All right, now here's the forecast radar and satellite, and there's your snow. 5.30 uh, over the Tetons, Idaho, and the Wasatch. Some of that moves into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Here comes the storm system lifting out and across the four corners, 221. Snow over the Wasatch, uh, Wyoming, and developing over Colorado. A little more generous snow right there on 222. Probably moderate accumulations along I-70 and north, central and northern mountains. And it's still there by end of day, and then it's gone on 223. Much drier and warmer, 223, 224. But here comes the shift. Here comes the pattern. Uh, northern branch buckles in, and both of the um, both of the areas of energy coming off the southern and northern branch merge here on 226. Heavy snow through a lot of the interior states, 226 into 227. Look at all that snow. And here comes the next storm system. Um, 228. It's going to take a little bit of time, and it's kind of slower in this afternoon's update, so not as much snow reaches down into the Wasatch or Colorado on 228. It's going to probably take another day before that happens. All right, latest snow numbers look like this. Latest grand totals, rest of today through 228, end of day. I'm um, looking at about 40 inches up there, little and big Cottonwood Canyons. In Colorado, one to two feet along the central and northern mountain corridors. Uh, a couple of feet up there in the Tetons, about a foot, maybe more. Parts of Idaho, six to 12 in Montana, looking really good. So you can see kind of that northern shift with it just being a little bit slower. Those big numbers this morning we talked about in Oregon have shifted up to the north into Washington and into BC in many cases where we're looking at one to two feet up there, but big numbers potentially. Timberline, Stevens, and Mount Rainier. 
uh, Mount Baker. Um, so again, that's the grand total map. Let me break it down by time period. So rest of today through the day tomorrow. <clears throat> again, a lot of the snow now has started up in the Wasatch. It'll snow tomorrow and snow on 221. Uh, but this is just the total through 220 and looking at over a foot in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. Probably one to four over most of the central to northern mountains of Colorado, maybe a bit more up around Steamboat and the flat tops, five to ten additional in the Sierra. All right, 221 through 223, over a foot again during this period in the Wasatch, Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons, three to six in the central to northern mountains of Colorado. So those are the hot spots. Um, next period, 224 to 226, um, a lot of the energy is starting to come in from the north with that northern branch. So you can see some pretty big totals up there in the Pacific Northwest, some moderate uh, type accumulations through the Wasatch, parts of Colorado and the Tetons. Final time period, 227 through 228. Again, everything's a little bit slower and a little bit further north here. Um, so that's where the biggest numbers are going to be. Although some of that snow um, cruising through uh, Colorado, and Utah looking at about uh, four to eight inches through a lot of those places, just coming down on that northwest flow. Um, a lot of those places are going to benefit from that type of flow, including the Tetons. All right, let's go to the northeast. 219 through 228, not a lot here. Uh, one to three inches will probably do it. Some of this comes on 223, although, again, it may be a little bit of a rain-snow mix at the, the, base, the bases of a lot of the ski areas. Um, and then the other shot comes in 227, 228. We could be looking at a little bit more of a storm system there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.